Hey, what's up traders? Mike here with the watch list video for Tuesday, August 22nd. Another narrow range, um, pretty low volume, boring August, uh, you know, summer trading. Um, still had a decent morning though. Had a nice couple, a couple of nice calls. Um, let me slide this over. VFS, which was on the bounce playlist. This is the intraday. Um, Wayne jumped on the mic and gave the idea through uh, 1750. Um, it, 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 when this started to pop up here, the earlier high was 1777, which I'd already given that idea earlier, but Wayne jumped on the mic and uh, came up with the 50 idea. Cause we always do try to get in before the high of day break, right? So you're not chasing, um, really beaten up on the daily the last few days. So it made sense. And, um, it's a big mover. I did a market order. It got filled at 59. I did a market. No, I did a limit of 1850 for my sell and I actually got filled at 1869. I just used the trade station matrix and hovered over 50, but it was actually above that at the time. So, I mean, it was a neat little trade. It didn't actually, I, I could have seen this going to 20, 21, 22 fairly easily the way it's been trading, um, but still some decent little money there. Uh, let me turn that volume down. Um, and I also gave over the mic uh, ACHR, right? This little line here and this line here was kind of flagging and we had yesterday's high above. The daily chart looked really good. So over the mic, I gave the 675 break, which happened right there. Worst case stop was like 658 or something. It was a, it was a pretty tight stop. Um, and it went all the way up, what, I don't know, 750 or something like that. So um, that was also a nice idea. There was a couple others put out in the room, but not a lot of trading. Um, still a decent morning and a really, really boring afternoon. So I'm going to go right into what I'm watching for uh, Tuesday real quick. Let me do my disclaimer thing. Not my disclaimer, my explanation of what I do. All right, so pause the video if you haven't read this before or you don't know what we do here, right? Um, and then just read that. It, it talks about it. But the, the short version is I'm an intraday trader, right? So none of this is investment advice. Here's what I'll be watching for, hopefully, some decent setups on an intraday basis tomorrow, right? SPGC, which is weird um, because it's only traded, I'll have to do this to kind of give you a better look. Whoops, this was opening day, and it literally went from, I don't know, what was the low, four something, to 30 bucks in one day. And then, it, obviously, it fell apart, but then um, trying to bounce, you know, it was down in the twos today, so... Um, trying to bounce there, this is the intraday. Ended up closing what, in about the middle of its range? Um, certainly has some more room to bounce though, so I am gonna keep that one on watch. ACHR, let me pan out a little bit here. Um, yeah, it's trying to break out. I had this on watch, I already talked about um, how, how much I like this daily chart. So that one goes right back on watch, really, really good relative strength. Kind of the same thing for AAOI, it's holding up really, really well. ESTE. Nice breakout today. We'll see if we get a follow through set up tomorrow. SOS is just stupid. I don't know. Sometime like one in the afternoon, I typed in the room SOS big move today. Um, and that was, it probably looked, let's scroll over. It probably looked about like this, right? It felt like it was way ahead of itself. It was no, no one could figure out a reason why it was running. And it ended up, it kept going and going. I would love to tell you I made a great call somewhere in here. Um, but this whole time it felt extended. And then it did this into the close. Um, so I never got involved in it, but having said that, with that crazy move, I am going to have it on watch tomorrow. I'd certainly like to see that come in for a day or two, but anyway, top, um, I'm going to zoom in on this one too so you can kind of see it. Had a nice pop Friday and kind of a quiet inside day today, so I'll be looking for a third day play there. Let me pan back out now. Um, SKLZ, I'm thinking, but I don't know for sure. I'm thinking this was maybe a recent reverse split. Cause I don't remember this thing trading in the $8 range, um, but it had nice volume today. So uh, we're gonna watch and see if there's any kind of follow through setup tomorrow. APRN, you had the pop on Friday, kind of a quiet inside day today. Um, I'm gonna put a horizontal line at this highs from, uh, from June. There's the horizontal line. So you can't help but think maybe it's gonna test this one of these days, right? This area. And if it can break through that, you can have a big breakout. Um, Low flow, I think a lot of shorts in it, so it's certainly worth watching. So we had the decent move um, on Friday. I give you the range from 727 to 920. That's a big percentage move, right? So then today, quiet inside day, so I'll be looking for a third day play there. Um, BGLC, uh, you kind of have to squint to see it, but it had big volume on Thursday, quiet day on Friday, and starting to kind of curl back up. But all this, I don't know what to do with. Um, 
but the last few days of trading have been interesting, so I'm going to watch it. NVAX, uh, kind of trying to break out of this base down here. Good volume today. We'll see if it has a follow-through day tomorrow. ROST is raw store. It had a big pop on Friday. Quiet inside day today, but did close above its open. Um, TIRX was on the gap play list. I never got involved in it. And if you look at the intraday, um, it didn't do anything all day till the end of the day. It got right back up near the highs. So anyway, maybe a follow-through day tomorrow. And then VFS, I already talked about this one, um, kind of stayed in a narrow range compared to the last several days. So I am going to keep this on bounce watch or long watch to see if it continues um, today's bounce tomorrow. That's it. We'll add gappers to this list in the pre-market as we always do. And I'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning. Have a great night.